Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. We're back in the Bulldogs franchise, we're taking on the Eagles in week two. I'm excited for it. This is our first home game for the series, so I'm very excited to, s to see what you guys think of the uniforms of the home variety and the stadium as well. I did the best I could with the stadium. There's not that many options in this game. Anyway, we got Bulldogs, we got Eagles, week two in Detroit. Let's get into it. We got Kevin Kolb, that's going to be the starting quarterback for the Eagles, so we don't get to play against Michael Vick, which is honestly a good thing. And here are the home uniforms. What does everyone think? Matthew Stafford's back. Hopefully we can get his first touchdown um, pass of the series. Uh, didn't get that in the last episode because he got hurt in the middle of the game. We are returning. We get the ball to start the game, and here we go. Ooh, what a miss. Ooh, what a good return. If I would have gotten that last uh, broken tackle there, that would have been bigger than it was. Willie Parker, first handoff of the game, and he's already doing better things than he did at the last one. He breaks off a tackle. He's going to cut back to the inside, can't get around the safety. But a big 33-yard gain. That's our best run of the entire series so far. Best run for the Bulldogs. I wonder how much trickery we can get away with right away. Can we get away with a Coles run? Not really. Stafford, Randall L. That was a big connection in the first game. He had like 100 and... 20-some yards in the first game, I think, so we're looking to get him involved early and often. 39, Stafford, Coles first down. A little bit of a low throw, but he still caught it. That was a big play to keep the drive alive, too. It's a screen. Willie Parker, that's going to be a walk-in touchdown. Stafford's first touchdown pass of the season. Uh, first one for the starting quarterback of this team. And the Bulldogs get a 7-0 lead early. Oh my god, how, good lord, <laughs> we could challenge that? That's not worth it, I don't think, early on in the game, I'm not even gonna, let me, I'll look at it, bad coverage all around there, I just wanna see if he caught it, mm, it's hard to tell in Madden, I feel like that would've been ruled to catch, our top rated uh, player on defense just did not get over there quick enough, ooh, we got off that, aw, uh, it was a screen, if it, if it was anything but a screen, that would've been, that would've been a sack. Wide open again. Why is nobody covering Jeremy Macklin? Can we get that under control? Something tells me this is going to be a run. It's not. Okay, well, that's that's fine. LaShawn McCoy. Lawyer Malloy does not have the speed to get there. Touchdown, Eagles. Our defense was atrocious on that drive. Stafford Michael Jenkins, first down. It's just going to be... I feel like there's going to be no defense played in this game whatsoever. Fullback, lead us to victory. He did. Good job. First down. Oh my god, Stafford, what happened there? Explain to me what happened here, Stafford. Coles, or Jenkins, was wide open, and he threw it, like, right at the eagle. Hanson should have had a pick here. Unfortunately, it wasn't the world's best punt. Ah, oh, Selick, wide open. Somebody tackle him. Hey, we got a sack! That was a corner with a sack, too. Fred Smoot. Why? Why must you throw to LaShawn McCoy? Can you just simply not? 100 yards given up to Kevin Kolb in the first quarter. No, no problems here, I, I, I assure you. It was a great play from Daryl Tapp there, otherwise uh, Deshaun Jackson would have gotten that first down for sure. That was a much better punt than our punt. Willie Parker. Not a bad run. He's been way better today than week one, which is good because I was very concerned about our run game in week one. Block for me for two seconds. No, I didn't get enough blocking. He was he was gonna be open. Michael Jenkins on that streak because there was no safety up top. I just didn't have enough time to get it to him. Come on, Randall L. He's the only receiver that does anything on third down. <laughs> Just like uh, Stafford and Cup, I'm just gonna look at him in third down every play, no matter what. <laughs> Santi, first down. He caught the touchdown last week, and he's dragging defenders with him. Stafford, we got another touchdown. It's Lavernius Coles, and we got a we got the lead back. I think that's two first half passing touchdowns for Stafford. He's been really good this game. 
Oh, I was right there. Come on. This is gonna. Oh, I was gonna say it's gonna be a run, but it's not. It's a pass. An interception. What a play. That was, I think, their first pass attempt to uh, Deshaun Jackson in the game, and we were not letting them get there. Lucas on one-on-one -on -one coverage with Deshaun Jackson, the speedster. It was just thrown too far, and we get the ball right back. You know what? We just got a turnover. I'm gonna take a shot right here. Stafford, Coles, and zone incomplete. Oh, that was close. Two for three on third down. That's much better than two of seven or whatever. Whatever we were last time. Hands it off, Willie Parker. He got there barely, but he got there. First down. Can I go, Santi? He caught one in the first game. Nope. Oh, he caught it off a bounce. What? Oh my God. <laughs> was not expecting that. Unfortunately, not a touchdown, but still a fantastic play. Smash Mouth Football. Come on. Willie Parker, get in, get in. Nope, did not get in. Don't fumble either. <laughs> Third and one. Stafford to Leonard, who is... I don't know who that is. I think that's the third string running back. Third touchdown of the first half. An odd person to get it to, but you know what? I'll take it. Underneath, Macklin, who apparently is uncoverable. Ooh, we forced an incomplete pass. That might be the first time in the entire game. I feel like we're just going to run out the clock here. Hand off to Snelling. Ew, and a face mask. Maybe we won't. Maybe we can get a field goal before half. Stafford, wide open is Michael Jenkins right across the middle. First down. Call a timeout. Stafford, I'll just jump it off to Snelling here. Stafford, Jenkins again. Ooh, a broken tackle and a first down. Call a timeout. Am I out of timeouts? Oh no, I'm out of timeouts. I, oh, I didn't know that. Quickly, throw the ball. Oh no! I didn't get out of the... Oh, we were in field goal range and now we're not. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, that was... Oh my god, all of that was so dumb. Now we only have four seconds. All right, essentially Hail Mary time. Uh, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like any of it. We're going deep to Coles, incomplete. Both of my receivers basically blocked it from each other. They have not run the ball, I don't think, at all with LaShawn McCoy, and that that's wild to me. Oh, they come out in Wildcat, and they're gonna hand it off to Jeremy Macklin. I think they've run more with him than they have with, uh, <laughs> with LaShawn McCoy. Is that a Wildcat formation again? Back-to-back -back handoff and back-to-back -back losses. What are they doing? Andy Reid must have gotten drunk at halftime and just decided <laughs> that this was their best strategy, I guess. I don't know, third and 14. Sacked. That was a fantastic defensive series from us. I think maybe the worst offensive series I have ever seen ever <laughs> for the Eagles. Third and one, we're gonna hand it off to our fullback. He didn't get the job done on the goal line, but he does it here. First down, he's back from injury, by the way. <laughs> Stafford, Coles, a first down. I told you, all this man does is catch first downs. Antoine Randall L open for a touchdown in the corner. Not good coverage from them. We get him a touchdown, which I think is his first on the year, which he definitely deserves based off of how good he's been so far for us. What are the Eagles doing? Are they going to actually run? It's their first rushing attempt of the game. Oh, no. I <laughs> McCoy. Yeah, see, they should have been running earlier. They're finally running. My response, blitz everyone. <laughs> They haven't run the entire game, now they've run three straight times, and it's a third and three. Make sure to cover both him and Selleck. Those are the- I said cover him! <laughs> First down, Eagles. Called all the time in the pocket. Steps up, goes long, caught by Macklin, and he breaks a tackle! It's a touchdown, Philadelphia! There's an injury on the field, I'm assuming it's the corner. It is. That's a second touchdown. Meanwhile, Robinson is, has to be helped off the field here. Hopefully he is okay. We don't have too much depth uh, on corner in this team. so uh, Not that he's probably the super highest rated player anyway, but I don't want to lose him. Snelling! That's his first big run, I think. Like ever. First down, four rushes, 17 yards for him. Stafford off a of play action. Looking downfield. 
caught by Lavernius Coles down to the 40. That's four receptions for him, 50 yards, and a dot thrown by Stafford there. 241 passing yards for Stafford so far in this game. That is very impressive. We haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Oh, he's going down here. Trent Cole on, on the sack. We, we've done way better containing Cole than we did Julius Peppers in the Bears game. We gave up three sacks in that game. We've been pretty good so far with that today. Handoff, Snelling. Oh, that was a good move. Third and 11. We're close to being in field goal range, I should imagine, but we're not there yet. Stafford, just run for it. I We didn't get the first, but I think we're in field goal range. That's seven yards for Stafford on that pickup. I did not get full power. Prater's kick is on its way, and it is good. So, yeah, well, he can definitely hit 50 yarders. I'd imagine that his uh, range is somewhere around 53, 54. It should be. Uh, but that was a good kick there. That's, a, I think, maybe first field goal of the series. No, he had one in week one. I remember now. Three seconds for the Eagles. They did score on their last drive, but it is now 31-14. And they've come out in a uh, wildcat again. It hasn't worked so far for him today. That was at least positive yards, but not exactly a huge successful play. Lawyer Malloy on the safety blitz he got there. It's a sack. That was a user sack as well. Fourth and 11. And they're, are they going for it? There's no way. They're going for it on a fourth and 11? Oh my God. Andy Reid is drunk. It's a bomb. Lucas got an interception earlier. He gets turned around. Jeremy Macklin all the way down to the 24. 180 receiving yards for the number two receiver. We have absolutely shut down Deshaun Jackson, but we forgot about uh, Jeremy Macklin. Ooh, underneath throw to basket. Lucas there for the tackle. Called throws back of the end zone incomplete. Intended for Deshaun Jackson, but it was just too far for him. You know, potential victory here. Called throws end zone Cooper. That's Riley Cooper. That's a touchdown. Third of the game for Kevin Kalb. Uh, they are still a bit behind. Uh, but they're now only going to be down by 10. Uh, well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. <laughs> Bradley in on the sack. Uh, we did not have enough men up front there. Snelling gets a handoff, did not get the first. This is going to be not the best punt. Oh, no! I screwed up on the punt again. This is not a situation where you want that to happen. We can't blow two straight fourth quarter leads. I that We're going to be the new Falcons. Oh, my God. Who's the injury? Is it him? I don't even know who that is. Giving up 300 passing yards to Kevin Kalb. And off LaShawn McCoy. Goldson meets him at the 10-yard line. Throwing. Brooks knocks it down. The backup linebacker who took over from the place of the injury uh, for, the, for the injured linebacker makes a play and forces a field goal attempt. What a massive play there. Kick is up. It is good. So we are only in a touchdown lead. Really, Parker's back in the game because he had a really good first half. We're just trying to run out the clock here. 13 rushes for 93 yards for him. Gonna go right back to him this time. He's stuffed. Stafford caught by Michael Jenkins. First down, two-minute warning. We're in a great spot here. 47-yard field goal from Prater. He made a 50-yarder earlier. This is a pretty massive field goal. 100% power. It's up. There's no chance this one's not going in. It's good, and we got a 10-point lead again with barely over a minute left. I am ecstatic that we're in a situation to win this game. I did not want to have another fourth quarter collapse. Kolb goes long. Goldson, that's going to be a... When is this flag? Pass interference. I clicked on at the wrong time. <laughs> Called. Oh, no. One-on-one -on -one coverage with a linebacker. Yeah, not exactly what you want to do. They scored concerningly fast there. <laughs> Great. Now we got to go back on offense. I thought we were done. Please. Okay. <laughs> Phillips, the tight end, gets up there. 
Only one more play needs to happen, and I think everyone in the stadium knows what it is. It's the quarterback kneel down. Kneel it with one second, and the Bulldogs have won their first game in franchise history. Well, their first win in franchise history, I should say. We take down the Eagles 34-31. It was a fun game. It was exciting. Our defense kind of wasn't fantastic, but Stafford, 289 yards, four touchdowns. He was fantastic today. Willie Parker was pretty good. Doritos crunch time play of the game is going to be that early run from Willie Parker that really set the the tone of, oh, we can run in this game, uh, which was a surprise to me. I didn't think, I think it was, I thought it was going to be an air show. Uh, it was a shootout. It wasn't in the middle of the game, but it did become one at the end, but it was fun nonetheless. We get our first victory in franchise history and move to 1-1 one one on the season. And before we got out of here, let's look at the player stats. 23 of 28, 289, four touchdowns, no incomplete passes. Or, I'm sorry, no interceptions. We did have a couple of incomplete passes, but not a lot. 82 is pretty good. Rushing Willie Parker, 15 attempts, 89 yards. Uh, he had 90 at one point. We shouldn't have put him back in at the end, but that's okay. Jason Selling, 7 for 23. He was all right. Peterson was bad. Uh, Stafford, just uh, the one kneel down and then that one seven yard rush. Uh, he didn't get the touchdown. Lavernius Coles went backwards, but that's fine. Receiving Michael Jenkins, 6 for 71. Lavernius Coles was 6 for 74 in a touchdown. And Randall L was 3 for 79 in a touchdown. Three big players right there. And then the, we got a uh, catch from Brian Leonard that was the backup running back who was in the uh, fullback spot and Willie Parker caught one as well. In terms of defense we got three sacks on the game. Lawyer Malloy, uh, Antonio Johnson, and Fred Smoot. It's a little odd that two of them were in the secondary but that's okay. <laughs> one interception from Ken Lucas. He was all over the place today. Uh, pretty good game overall. I did accidentally click onto him and, and made him uh, I think it was a penalty at the end of the game, but still, we a uh, massive improvement. We only gave up two sacks, only one to Trent Cole, one to Stuart Bradley on that play action, but good improvement from us. Next week, we're taking on the Minnesota Vikings for the first time. Uh, so we got two, we, actually we got three division games right in the beginning of the schedule. We got Bears, then we had the Eagles game, and then Vikings and Packers. It'll be fun to do a double header here. I might think about it. We might do a double header for these games. Um, I think it would be kind of fun. But that's our Thanksgiving Day game. That's going to be a problem. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check back in next week, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.